In this video, we're going to seek to answer the question, what does the kingdom of God look like through the church? Now, the reason that the answer to this question is so critical is because of the importance of the church to King Jesus. Now, I know in our day and time that that kind of sounds like uh, something that is a, a fallacy, that the church is important. Because we're living in the day and age where attendance numbers in churches are on the decline and uh, interests of the church seems to be on the decline. And in the minds of many, the relevance of the church has been on the decline for decades. But that only tells half the story. That only tells how man views the church. It doesn't speak of how King Jesus views the church. And for Jesus, the church is vital in demonstrating and projecting the kingdom of God. So here's our short answer uh, to that question. The church is an assembly of kingdom people who display what the reign of God through King Jesus looks like. That's how the kingdom of God is displayed through the church. But let me show you how we get to this answer. The word church that we read about in the New Testament comes from the Greek word ekklesia. Now for us, it is just connected with church. But for the ancient world, an ekklesia was so much more. An ekklesia was uh, an assembly of people, a, a called out assembly. But they were also seen as people who had some ruling powers. They had powers uh, to establish policy or deny citizenship or to elect officials. They had ruling powers. And I believe that when Jesus speaks of ecclesia, he's speaking of the ecclesia with this in mind. He's speaking of the church with this in mind because the church are going to prove themselves to be kingdom people. That's what he wants for the church. In Matthew chapter number 16, verse 15 through 19, Jesus said to Simon Peter but, and to his disciples, but who do you say that I am? Peter replied, you are the Christ. You are Christ. You are the king, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church. There's ecclesia. On this rock, I'm going to build my people. But then he says, uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God are synonymous phrases. They are one in the same. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Peter's confession was that Jesus is king. But upon that confession, Jesus says, I'm going to build my church. I'm going to establish my people. The church would be the people of King Jesus, but people who had a certain task, people who had a certain mission, they were to open the doors of the kingdom to the world. This is why he says, I'm going to give to you the keys of the kingdom, not just to Peter, but to the other apostles and to every disciple of Jesus who walks underneath the kingdom of God from that point in time. So they would be, uh, this would be their role. Their role was to open the doors of the kingdom to men and women of any age during any point in time to allow them to be ruled by Jesus as well. So how does the kingdom of God express itself? or show itself, or how is it displayed through the church? It's displayed through the church when the church takes on their very kingdom mission. When they're living out who they are, they are displaying the kingdom of God to the world.